Actually, that's recording. So this is recording. So we're live. Oh, we're literally live right now. I oh, we're... wait. What do you want to do? Talk about something. No, I just thought we were recording since I got here. No. <laughs> Don't fuck around. Hold on. <laughs> all right. I don't know. That's, I'm the worst clapper. I, I, like... can, I can tell. Well, your, your hand position is all wrong. Yeah. Clapping is this. I have this because I feel like that's louder than... Sounds like yeah. It's actually, quite the same. It's like you kind of want to cup them like that. It's my my dad taught me. It's like a that's a dude clap. Yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. like that's like a dad on the sidelines clap. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Get it done, go boy. Yeah, get done. Like, he's like behind yeah. everybody, and he yeah, just right. makes way more noise. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. to the ribs. Right to the ribs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, well, this is podcast number two, essentially. I guess. Um, yeah, podcast number two. Two point oh. 2.0, yeah, or 0.2, whatever. Um, but again, it's Proctor here. We got Tyler. Um, we're just going to ramble on, I guess. Our last one, we talked about it being called uh, Recreational Outrage. I, I don't care what it's called, really. Yeah. I just think we were doing a podcast. Yeah. I like that term a lot. You it's know, a good term, right? Even though I'm, like, rarely outraged. Oh, so we talked about this last, or last week. I guess it was last week. It seems like it's already regular. Yeah. Um, but... Oh, that was a weird echo. Uh, but um, we talked about recreational outrage and w- what it stands for. Yeah. We were saying that uh, it's just people who are bored. Yeah. Maybe having like to feel something in life or just need yeah. to be mad. They're like on Twitter. They're like, fuck whatever. Yeah. And they get mad about it. And then they move on with their day or they don't they get hung up on it because they have nothing else to look forward to. I don't know if that's yeah. true or false. Wow. But I feel like it's a fairly reasonable explanation of it. Well, it's like it's fake outrage most times. <laughs> Yeah, it's attention. They're not really upset. Attention seeking outrage. Yeah. They they love being upset on other people's behalf. Right? Yeah. Some people like love to jump in and be like defend a, an entire group of people they know nothing about. That they just don't know anything about. Right. Which is fair like yeah. you know, social justice type people. You right. Know, they wanna, yeah. They want to be on the right side. Just yeah. to be clear. Yeah. I'm on the good side. Oh, I think I think I'm right side, like right, right left. No, no, uh, certainly the, not. The correct I, side. I don't know anything about those. No, we yeah. talk about that too. We I don't think. have that here, really, as much. There's a bunch of lefties over here. <laughs> if you're, if, I think if too you're many lefties. Yeah, I think if you're above yeah. sixty, you're a righty potentially because you. Yeah. Maybe maybe a little bit older. You have like core righty values, but you live a lefty lifestyle. You still ski and snowboard. Yeah, and you go out in the wilderness every day. Yeah, you're yeah. just like, especially like the retired people. They're I know. they're lefties. Man, yeah. being retired in Worcester is a great oh. life. You know, if you have the money and you're doing it, like. Yeah. Dude, I think, I mean, I don't, it seems like it'd be hard to do now, but if you were here like yeah. 30 years ago, bought a house, maybe a second oh, yeah. house, Are sold you cruising? it. You're cruising. You're old. Yeah. And you're a mountain host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, dude, that's a legit job. I mean, they're like, they get their yeah. pass and they, oh, people just, some people just love to talk. And yeah. they know everything. They've been here forever. They know everything. They're not talking about is like. It, is it that they love to talk or is it they're lonely as shit? <laughs> oh, well, they're, <laughs> they probably, they're, so, they're retired. They're like, what are we doing? I mean, at least they're getting out there. You know, I mean, you, you could stay at home and knit and carve wood and stuff, but it'd be, it's more fun to be a mountain host for sure. Yeah. If you're older than 60 and carving wood still, like a chainsaw or something like that, you're, you're doing well. Oh, chainsaws. Yeah. yeah. Do you use a chainsaw much? Do you have much experience uh, with chainsaws? As a young lad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My dad, uh, my dad's a bush man. Oh, okay. He worked for the Forest Service for a long time. So right. he was like, you know, we would go get our own firewood every year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like, okay. Out in the bush with my dad's buddies and. Cool. Take the dogs, and then uh, he'd give me like a little electric one, and I'd go trim the little branches off. Oh, like the I'll come back and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Never got hurt. Not That's once. cool. Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. I, I I I love chainsaws. Yeah, but I've never had one, or I've only used one once. Yeah, and uh, I think they're cool. I think yeah, I, I think I think people should. I think dudes should have a chainsaw. There's something about um, not just you know having that you know wielding that power, right. but like the smell of you know obviously a two stroke engine, all that stuff, man. It just yeah, bur- wood bur- cutting through burning wood or yeah. burning wood we cut through and the smell of two uh, two stroke. Fuel. Yeah, I'm it's sure that's like a, there's like some sort of primal like connection to your uh, your your ancestry there. Yeah, because they all have chainsaws. Yeah, and you know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if you go back like six generations, there's chainsaw activity. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just yeah, right. I guess steam has steam powered chainsaws, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Cool. Like steampunk chainsaws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I think chainsaws are cool. I think um, 
I think we probably should top five with chainsaws. I don't know. I, I I've never used. I would love to have. I'd love to have one. Listen, man. Every man wants a chainsaw. I, I can feel what you're talking yeah, about. Right? Yeah, right. But I have an apartment. Yeah. I put up my storage unit, and I have yeah. my balcony is a rabbit. Like. Yeah, no, weird. it makes no sense to own one, but I understand the want. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'd like maybe I just go and rent one and use it for the day. Well, you know what's funny, actually? So, yeah. like, I don't know how many years ago this was. Probably like 10 years ago. I worked for Mr. Blackcomb. Yeah. And this is all little stories now, but we snuck two chains out of the mountain to build jumps for MSP because the jump we built wasn't, they were like, it's not poppy enough. They yeah. couldn't, like, they're super huge. I'm like, it's pretty poppy to me. <laughs> but so, uh, we, the guys from MSP went to, went to, uh, Pemberton and, and rented two chainsaws. Like the six big right, ones, like the, you know, 500 foot long blade or whatever. And uh, we went up the mountain, started cutting out blocks and putting it on the takeoff. So we're cutting out blocks from behind the takeoff, putting it on there. So, uh, like, Eric Corbett was up there with like chainsaw pants on, and some of the guys, Dustin, some other, other filmers from MSP, yeah. cutting out blocks. And then, like, we, we snuck a tiger torch up there, too. It's like a propane tank. So, like, they're like, they're like, Ryan, what are you going to have to lift for? What is this stuff? I'm like, oh, it's props for a film. They're like, okay, cool. They were like, you can't transport that shit on the lift legally. I don't think I, anyway. So, we got two chainsaws up there. And the mountain manager comes by. He's like, I kind of was doing stuff. Anyway, he came by. He's like, I didn't see that. See you. Oh, and I was like, cool. And we're like, why? You know why? Because that dude likes chainsaws. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. That's, that's, that's the point. point. Yeah. He's like, yeah, cool. Chainsaws. You see a couple of dudes like with chainsaws. You're like, you know. I wish I could stay and hang out. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I don't want to work. Man. Uh, maybe just yeah. fire it up for a few seconds yeah, for I me. Just, I hold on to it. Because <laughs> we're just cutting. We're cutting like we're like we're like advanced igloo building. Yeah, like more, and it's just like, like yeah, we're in the we're on the helmet and the earplugs or whatever the earphones. Yeah, Muff yeah. ear protection. You just yeah, ear protection. BP. Yeah. BP. Oh, uh, here's a little insider tip. Okay, uh, I just uh, someone corrected me. I called them like yeah, I don't know all those words we just used, and they said ear defenders. That's that's the term. That's the term. Apparently, it sounds like a superhero. This came from uh, uh, landscaping pros. Oh yeah, right. right? So <laughs> cool. <laughs> motor motor people. People just right. use motors all day. I thought it was called PPE, personal protection something, or PP something like PP. <laughs> no, but PPE. I think it's like I thought it was called PPE or some kind of term for it, uh, for protection. But what about PEP, personal ear protection? Oh yeah, well maybe that's that's not what it is, but that's something that I'm could be. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, well, I, mean, I have no idea. I don't disagree with you. I mean, it could be anything. Anything could be that. Um, yeah, so work. you guys, yeah, the guy, he was, didn't didn't care. He didn't care. He's like, oh, cool. I didn't see that. He skied away. And then I think now he's like a bigger guy in the mountain. But um, we built this jump, and I think Sean, I think Sean had like broke his back on or something. Some people broke his leg. It was huge. They went like straight up in the air. Like, Perfect. It was, yeah, I was like, that's what they're supposed to do. But what it was, year was this? Um, 2008 or nine, perhaps. Nine. Yeah, it was a, a while ago. ago. Yeah. Nine. Fucking decade ago. Yeah. Young Sean had it. He was like six. Yeah, I yeah. think, or maybe he's like maybe he's like sixteen, maybe he was seventeen. Or I don't know. He was pretty young for sure. He was he crushed, man. Yes. Oh, jeez. And I was like, but Hoji was the first person to hit it. Yeah. Everyone's like, we, everyone was scared to hit it. Like Bush was out there, everyone was scared to hit it. Like, what are you gonna do? And Jen goes, uh, Hoji will hit it because he was there cutting. I'm like, okay. He's got his su- suspenders down around his like no helmet, zero helmet. Oh, he's wearing <laughs> flat shirt and overalls, <laughs> and uh, he's got his suspenders down uh, like the orange ones, this old yeah. Lidora one. Yeah. Just guns it, the big old Cossack, I think. Yeah, right. Huge. Like, I mean, we built this jump to do, like, as many spins as possible. Right. And, uh, yeah, anyway, it was huge. He's first kind of hit. He just guinea pigged it and gunned like, it and gunned it. It was great. Yeah. And on his, on his uh, the Pilsner, Hoji's that he had those skis. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah. A pair of those. Yeah, me With too. The bunny rabbits. Yeah, I think everybody, yeah, 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 they were good skis. They yeah. were bomber. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but not um, by today's standards. They were, they were, I think they were too fast for me. I couldn't keep up. Yeah, that. that's it. I was like, this whole time. You couldn't ski. I was like, I couldn't get rid of these things. They were way too fast for me. You're just so. driving a bus. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like water skiing when you're like four years old and your arms are too weak to kind of get you the lean back. And dolled around. Yeah, I don't think it's like that at all, actually. It's like it's, when you were young or any girl. <laughs> I told you, man, I don't edit this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, that jump was pretty sweet. I, I built some other stuff out there before that. I've seen Sean go big. He fucked up his back on another jump we did in the in the valley. Um, you know that old halfway that doesn't get built anymore? Uh, the Olymp- the uh, World Cup one that was built? Yeah. yeah. The bottom. yeah. It was built for the Showcase Showdown. And then we took, they decommissioned it. And then we went over to MSP and built this big hip with a cable cam with the guys from Freeride. I think they hired some Freeride guys for, for the MSP mm-hmm. shoot. Yeah. Sean Pettit was sending it just like hit the deck like just like bam like accordion crumbled and came back on yeah, that's back then too 
Yeah. He just got up and kept skiing. No one knew his back was fucked up until, like, because my back's sore. That was the way back then. Like, you, you would fall, hurt yourself, and nobody nobody thought to ask you all the no. really important questions, right? No. It was just like, how are you feeling? I'm like, oh, I think I'm okay. You, I'm, not, I'm not a professional athlete by any means, but you were just, you're probably like, if I say I'm hurt, and this whole thing shuts down, I got to go home, I don't get my footage. Yeah. Or whatever it is you got to Or you just want to be tough. Yeah. Right. You know, you're just trying to be like a tough guy. Like, you know, I think I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I've done that that time. That time I try to be cool yeah. and you're like hurt, but you're like, oh, I'm cool. And you're like really hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. That happened uh Cam. Uh, Cam did the same thing. He he broke his back and he just uh, kept skiing. And because he didn't, well, one, he didn't want to, he didn't want to not be a part of the party because it right. was kind of like a party ski day. But yeah, like he broke his back. And for that viewer, Went to the, work. for that one viewer out there, who's Cam? Oh yeah, uh, just a friend of ours, Cam Cloud. Oh, uh, call him out. Yeah, six oh four. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's yeah. got an ape like grip, right. that man. Oh, he does for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, man, yeah. he's a pretty strong yeah. guy for sure. He's fast and a penchant for useless creativity. Yeah. He's an engineer, right? Yeah. So maybe able to use someday. Yeah, I mean, he's got the ring. What do you mean, got the ring? You know, the engineer ring. You get a ring for that? Yeah, pinky ring. What? Yeah, same. I guess it's practical. It keeps it out of the way. An yeah. Engineer is pretty practical. Like they're like, if it's here. Yeah. You don't. If, if you ever get to see like two engineers run into each other on the street, they're it's like, hilarious. We like like a power. No, power it's more of like a, they like point at the the, the, the pinky ring. And they oh, go, yeah, you're an engineer. Right. Yeah. And then you go cool ring. Wow. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't know that. That's cool. I mean, yeah. it's cool. It's kind of like yeah. it's like brotherhood, brother <clears throat> sisterhood, you know, sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's interesting. It's like, it's like, sorry to interrupt you there, but it's no. like, it's like driving past another Volkswagen Beetle on the road. Yeah. That's you know? a cool thing. Yeah. I, it, it actually happens. I think not the same nostalgia, yeah. but when you get a new car or a different car, all you see is that car on the street. <clears throat> yeah. I feel that way anyway. Yeah. Like I bought a, I mean, I bought a Mitsubishi RVR. <laughs> For uh, for the, the folks out there listening, uh, just for the joke, I what is just for the joke? <laughs> <laughs> what is the definition of the worst vehicle on the planet? Yeah, or what is the it's term? like a combination of um, all cars, but no, it's nothing. If you took all the worst cars and all the worst like little tiny like mini SUVs <laughs> and put them together and put like took put an engine from a child's electric Jeep in it, but it ran on gas, that would be what you bought. That was, that's, yeah. that's what I own. It's like it's like the new age Pontiac Aztec. <laughs> Fuck no, it's not. Those are horrible. But no, it's no, not far yeah. off for no, sure. No, I'm just. I'm it sucks. Bad. It sucks in the winter. It's horrible. Like it spins out. Like I. It, yeah. Yeah. It's not great. But it's cheap on gas. And, yeah. Um. I. I don't know. Now I can't get rid of it. It's a species. Well, it's tough. It's, it's a tough. It's one. reliable. I have yeah. never issue. Never any issues. Yeah. Other than like I, I don't do things to. What it. do you mean you can't get rid of it? Like you don't want to, or well, I don't want to. I don't think it's going to buy it for the price I paid a lot of money for. it. Well, I pay a lot, but I pay enough that it's like, I can't sell this thing until... So did you get sold? Like, did you walk in and the salesman's like, this guy is going to buy an RPR? I, I think. had to. How come? I was, I'm like, I'm going to look at these cars. So I'm like, this is kind of cool. So I drove to Vancouver. I had, an eight, I had a 2005 Mazda 5, Mazda 3. Yeah, I had the same car. Yeah, it was sick. It was like yeah, sedan. Great. Yeah, it was killer. It drove really well. Yeah. But it was kind of falling apart a bit. I was like, I got to sell this thing. Same thing. Mine, mine just fell apart. Yeah. Uh, but I always drove well, but the brakes always said, anyway, it was rusting and I was starting to have really big issues. So I drove to the city to go look at cars. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, these RVRs look interesting. I will go look at them and see what it's about. Yeah. I drove to Vancouver and I mean, from here, it's like, it was like a two hour drive. What do you mean you saw these RVRs? Like you, Online. I looked online. them up. I okay. found them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay. oh, that's pretty you cool. You did a little research. Yeah, there's like a ton yeah. of, they, they're pretty good on gas, four wheel drive. They're like, they got a great yeah. warranty. Mitsubishi makes good cars. Yeah. They look fucking weird, but they make good cars. Yeah. And whatever else. So I'm like, I'll go check them out. So I go down there and as I get there, <laughs> I've had a light, and I'm like, someone's car is fucked. And I'm looking around, I'm like, man, that thing sounds like shit. I'm looking around, and I'm like, someone's car is going to fucking explode. So I roll up my windows, and I can still hear it. I'm like, oh, fuck. And I'm like, my car is just like, hang- I'm like it's just hanging on. Yeah. Uh, and then I pull in the parking lot, and I turn the corner, and it goes, clunk, clunk. And I'm like, what's that? And the steering, I guess on the left-hand side, just like broke. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, I'm at a dealership. I came to look at a car. Right. I thought these cars were okay, so I'm not against them. Yeah. And so I bought an, an RVR. That's it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I guess you, buying cars sucks. Yeah. I was like, I need to car buy a car. Just take yeah. You just kind of go do I it. I tried to think I was like a haggler. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing this for this. The guy's like, we're not selling you this thing for that much. I'm like, cool. I want it for this much. I'm not doing that either. It's this much or you can't buy it. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, 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 I'm like,
I need you to include the tax. I can't uh, do that. I'm like, well, this is way too much. I need you to put it down to this it price. Sucks, man. He's like, I, I can't. hate the negotiation. Because they knew my car was outside, literally falling apart as yeah. we were having the conversation. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, with the negotiation thing, like, I've bought enough cars and, like, enough times to just, I just hate it. So it's not that I can't do it. Right. I could haggle and, and spend time. And then, you know, you have to drive home and, or you're doing email. And I just, like, I couldn't be bothered. If I'm buying yeah. a car, I'm getting one. I'm just going to get one. Yeah. I did the same thing with my with the Mazda. Uh, you guys, it's from Edmonton. I'm like, oh, like, yeah, it was the lease in uh, Edmonton, you know, in, in uh, yeah, Alberta. I'm like, cool. He's like, okay. And I didn't even notice there was rust like inside the bottom of the back doors. So by the time the first winter went around, it was on the outside of the back doors. Like, yeah, just totally just, rust. Yeah, totally worked. And then uh, the wheel was sort of going, yeah. and then I, I fell asleep at the wheel and drove off the highway and flat it up. <laughs> and then I just drove it home. It was fine. I t- you, know those, uh, you drove it like off. You drove it into the ditch. I and- drove it off the road. You know uh, when you come down when you're coming north on the highway, and you turn that big bend where that where they always film in that big open yeah. area by Gal- Galileo. Yeah, is it Galileo? Yeah, Galileo. Yeah, the coffee place. Yeah, so I, Pretend, I, I yeah. there's that big long bend. Yeah. Well, I just took the corner. I guess I just didn't stop turning. I'm like, I woke up and I'm like, holy fuck! And there's like, oh, I did it again. There's like uh, dirt billowing over the hood, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, nice. going like <laughs> through the trees. Like not in the trees, but you know, I think those white, those white uh, things on the side of the highway that kind of flap are like the markers. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. I was like, "Wow, wow, wow!" Just taking those down, they're flying out behind me, breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so I pull over, and I'm like, "Holy fuck!" And I go back on the highway, and I'm like, "I kind of skid around." There's nobody on the highway. It's great. So I yeah. pull over. And there's this couple across the highway going. Do you know where you can get off the highway there and go over by the by the yeah. raging fish or whatever? Yeah. This, this couple's like eighty. They're like looking at me like, "What the fuck what just happened to you?" And I'm like. I like get out. I like to look around. I go look at the hood. There's a big dent in the hood. And there's a big scrape on the side. There's some dirt hanging in my uh, grill. Yeah. So I pull the dirt out. Get in my car. Get a coffee. Just drive. Drive. Got coffee. coffee. Yeah. And then I drive back home and I got a six pack and I went to my buddy Mike's house to talk about it. And I was like, God, you never guess what happened. And it was brutal, man. Like it was. It's like I look back and it's scary. Like it was not. Yeah. It's not funny. I know car accidents. I don't yeah, it's not funny at all. And, yeah. and when it happened, like. Man, I was so alert and like like everything was yeah. had my attention. Although we drive home, like yeah. I couldn't fall asleep if like yeah it gave me a bunch of energy. Supercharged, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But I drove off the road. I was coming home from trade shows. I was like super late, or got home super late. I sorry, flew out super late and got in the in the Vancouver super early. Right. Anyway, yeah. After, so that Mazda went through that. I didn't. I never fixed it. I didn't do anything too. I just kept driving for like two more years. It's great. Yeah, nice. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't. That Mazda I had too, same thing, just started falling apart. Everything on it started yeah. rotting and falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> dude at the dealership goes, the gear shift's important. Is this an aftermarket gear shift? I'm like, no. I'm like, I, you, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, what, not for my, oh, it's really nice, eh? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but the cars, like, don't, that doesn't matter. Like, cool, thanks for the compliment. You can just say, hey, but your car's fucked, eh? I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah. You don't be like, hey, the gear shift's super nice. It's funny, I took uh, my current car in, it's a Ford. I took it into a Ford. Um, I didn't buy it at that one. I bought another one, but I took it in there for service. Yeah. And I got like Ford dealership, you know, just perfect. They know all about Fords, right? <laughs> yeah. They probably don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody knows anything. Right. The dude, he, so they do an oil change. They do some other stuff and check it out. And I come back the next day and he goes, he goes, Hey, uh, nice seats you got in the car there. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're comfy. He goes, Are those stock. Like, so I upgraded the seats in my, my yeah. newer car. What kind of car is it? Are you, you, you going to say? Yeah, it's, it's a Ford Focus. Oh. Yeah. Right. yeah. But, um, but it's like the, you know, it's got like the sports seats or whatever. So they kind of wrap oh, around. So they're, seats. yeah, well, you know. Whatever. Is it new? Do you, have, is it, do you drive it now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I just got it like a year and a half. Oh, okay. So, cool. Right. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. So stock. I'm like, you're the Ford you're the guy. Fucking, yeah, you tell me, bro. The, the seats are obviously stock yeah. seats. Are you like a stock mechanic who just come with the department and you don't know what you're talking about? That's what I was said. <laughs> you know, it makes no sense. No. Well, I mean, it just it goes to show you that, like, you know, nobody nobody knows anything most of the time. No, and we're just making shit up. <laughs> we need to fix the car. We need what do you need? Needs? Oh, I'll have to go back in a couple of days and go back and go. What the fuck's going on in there? Yeah. Every so, mechanic's like trying to Google it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They go into the back and that's why they're like, yeah. "Oh, give us a minute." They're like. Damn it. Anyway, we just stopped the podcast for a quick second, but now we're back at it. So <laughs> we do, if you don't mind the hump in the, the uh, Here's a fun thing to do with uh, things like that. Like the, when I went for a service too, he's like, he's like, uh, you, you're going to need, uh, 
you know, new summer tires, you know, eventually and right. I priced some out for you. I'm like, Oh, that was real nice. Yeah. You're like, yeah, cool. yeah. He's like, he's like, uh, oh, well, we, you know, these are normally this much. We can get you for this, you know, like they're normally three fifty a piece. We can get you for three hundred a piece. I was like, oh, that's great. Let me just Google search these tires right now, Buck right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't do that. <laughs> it must be a different internet we're using. Yeah, yeah. They were like another sixty dollars cheaper than what he's at. Well, because I guess they mark them up, right? But no, I don't know. I don't Still. get that how that works. They have like a, I think mechanics have like a secret. Like they're like, let me look and see what we can get them for. I'm like, where are you going to this like secret like portal that tells you your prices? Well, they're they're going to their suppliers. Yeah, like which must give them like a, like an at cost, like a middleman type price with a bit of a market, then they mark up against the yeah. price. It was, depends on how many in between or how many middlemen there are yeah, in that scenario. For sure, yeah. I'm <laughs> cut, for sure. I mean, the whole direct buy thing is really nice, but it is killing an entire industry of people, uh, people like, thousands yeah. of jobs oh, because yeah. you just order straight from Amazon. Yeah, right. I, I think it's weird that Amazon. Uh, if you order from them, sometimes they, that order comes from this actual supply. They don't have it on site. Yeah. Like, and I heard they have like huge warehouses, but like I'm like, and then it gets you so fast. Like some of the stuff, I'm like, How, this must have come from China yesterday. Yeah, and it's here in my house. Like, I don't get it. Somebody's, probably, somebody's sweating just because they're like, got that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last second. Just like throwing it on the boat. Yeah, right. Probably, okay. a, probably a plane. If it took yeah. a day. I uh, that boat's fucking cool. Could have been a catamaran or something. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think it's funny how I do that. But I, I, um, I have to get my car, new tires for my car on the 1st of November. Because Dennis, uh, local, at the Sir Automotive, guy's crush. He's really good. I go to him yeah. all the time. So God, too is he good because he knows you and likes you? Or is he I didn't know him before I went there. Oh, well, that's, yeah, yeah. But now I know him because I go yeah. there all the time. Yeah. Um, but he's like, um, he's like, I, the first day it snowed, he's like, I got 200 calls a day and I, I'm booked on November 1st. I'm like, I'm like, it was like October 2nd when I went and saw him. I wonder the snow was. I guess it was around that. Or no, it was like probably the 12th of October. And it doesn't really matter. Um, but he's like, yeah, I can get you these tires for this much. I was like, cool. So I'm going to get these ones for this much because I wouldn't get those ones. They're not any better for an extra 100 bucks a piece. It's I, nice. Yeah. It's nice to get a little bit of honesty. Yeah. <laughs> Those are shit. They're too much money. Don't buy them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I think talking about cars is it's kind of fucking stupid. Keep going to time for a while. Yeah. Sorry. Um, what's, uh, what's your, um, what's your thought about, um, not knowing what to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could, we could talk about the basics like, uh, um, you know, um, uh, women's rights. Uh, they are right. Yeah, most of the time. Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't want to talk about that. No, anyways, it's a touchy uh, subject. Yeah, we could talk about. That. I just stopped this podcast trying to pretend like I was typing, and it put a like a stop to the audio. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how to. I don't. I don't. I'm worried about how I'm going to try to edit that at the end. Cause I don't know how many skills doing this. So it's going to be like two audio files. I have to think. Yeah. Well, I mean, the <laughs> the good news is is uh, no one no one will see this. So oh, right. Yeah. yeah that, that's. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot we were, we were talking this. I forgot we were talking to nobody yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Man, um, oh, you know what's actually interesting to me is yeah. across the field here. Yeah, uh, they put in this new, um, the new astro turf or fake turf soccer field. Yeah, a million sure. bucks, a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. A million dollars. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was trying that's to predict make- price for a field. I mean, I don't know much about fields, but that seems like a steal. Yeah, I would say it's. I mean, well, someone's stealing, but I, I think it's. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it's expensive. Like if. How much to pay for that Mitsubishi that's not that I don't like? I'm sure that field is probably well worth what that million bucks is worth. Yeah. But yeah. what I'm asking is if and I should I could just Google this, I guess, but do you know when they make that artificial turf? Sure. Do they shake like a like fine granular rubber into the into the turf to make it softer? Well it depends on the turf, the type of turf that they use. Because yeah. there's like there's a there's a multitude of different turf types. Like there's water based turfs, there's like sand based turfs. There's really? Oh yeah, yeah. What do you mean water based? Well I used to play on turfs all the time when I was a kid. Because I did like uh, those silly competitive sports, did things, yeah, field sports. But they had like they had ones that like had a fine sand base. Oh, really? And that would make like balls slide. Oh, like, on them. But so it'd be a soccer play. field maybe or something. Yeah, part? soccer field hockey, all those things. And then, but if you fell on them, it was like Raspberry City. <laughs> it just like tear a hole yeah. in your leg. Right. Um, but they were cheaper. And then then we moved to like water based ones where there was just they basically the 
there was always a little bit of water underneath the, the grass. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that, that, must, that must be a pain to keep there. Like, water evaporates. Yeah, I mean, I was 12, so, uh, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't know. I like the water one a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the sprinklers were put on. <laughs> right. Well, I've heard that. I think I've seen, like, them, in football, they talk about like, they, they put rubber in some of them. Like, just shred oh, yeah. it up rubber so it's softer or something. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They use old tennis probably, shoes. Probably expensive. Okay. What do you mean? Well, oh, they I grind mean, them up? Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I thought I was just making fresh rubber to throw down on the ground. Yeah, because those guys like put on a new pair of uh, football shoes every day. So, yeah, wow. man. I've seen those Tim Hortons kids out there. Those Timbits are putting on new shoes. Timbits? Yeah. Shit, man. They've stepped up. Yeah, my roommate's kid's a Timbit soccer player. Really? He just said, and Is then, the league called Timbits? Well, it's like the soccer. You know, you know they have hockey, like the Timbits, where they come out. And they, like, oh, the sure. They, they play like for three minutes in yeah. front of 20,000 people. Yeah, it was like, oh, was good. <laughs> and it's, it's probably the best thing you've seen, yeah. Just like a swarm of bees, like Yeah, they just chase the ball. Yeah. yeah. So, that's like, so, um, so my roommate's kid plays, and he's also their coach. He's like, man, they just run around. It's like, they just like, no yeah. one, they're like eight, nine, or six, whatever it is. Yeah. And they just run around. It's like, just, everybody wants the ball. <laughs> yeah, and no one knows how to use it once they get it. No, no, no. You just smash it somewhere. Yeah, you just grab it with your hands and run. Yeah, I think most times they don't even know which way they're pointing. Like it's just. Uh, I think they should make adults play the same way kids play. So the rules are you have to play like an eight year old. So oh, right, everybody's no out. positions. You just run after the ball. <laughs> it's not getting even done. No positions. Doesn't make any sense. That's kind of like, um, um, you know, that uh, the bubble ball game. Oh, where you're in the bubble. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of how. That's like the adult version, right? You know. Expensive. My yeah. mom's husband owns an air dome in my hometown in Barrie, Ontario. Okay. And he, they have an indoor golf range. They do soccer. They also do bubble soccer. So they do oh, yeah. that. And so yeah. you, they, I guess it's this company that rents out the space from like once a week or they have, they have bubble soccer tournaments. So you can, I haven't been there. I'm like, I want to go. I'm going to go back in, uh, in a few weeks. But there's, um, they, yeah, they just have this indoor dome. Yeah, you, they have a driving range there. It's huge. Yeah, um, but they have bubble soccer where you just get in this thing and you chase yeah. around. But there's a, I don't get how you use. There's a ball, so you're in a ball and you have to use the ball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've never uh, personally played it. I watched uh, a game or two. Um, and from what I understand, like I mean, if I have that protection on, my number one goal is going to be to try to hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Like 100%. male or female, yeah. like if we're putting these things on, I'm gonna run. Yeah, Not like you. I'm gonna I'm gonna come in low sometimes too. Just, <laughs> but you know, you, yeah, right. and behind you, just bounce you into the. Yeah, that's funny because then you could just once you, you get upside down. Just, I don't know how it works because yeah, I think you're like strapped in, right? You're in like a harness. Yeah, yeah, it's so, all locked so you in. You run. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I I think I want to try it because there's those guys that you, you can rent them here. The the resort municipality has them. Where, where do you Where do you take them? You, they go down to Myrtle Phillip. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. You can do it. It's not that expensive either. It's like, I don't know. I don't yeah, know how much it's like. It's you know, it's like, yeah, 40, 100, yeah. It's, it's just money or whatever. It. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Well, there used to be that guy who used to run the river. He used to rent you those little fucking air things you get on the river. Oh, yeah. The, the village. Rodeo thing. How dangerous is that? Is it, yeah, it's called the rodeo. It's like river rodeo or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's like things where you just, people come bouncing out. Like, it's like. Oh, the Broncos. Yeah. That's what they And your arms, you could stick your arms out and then yeah, you just, just roll. Snap an arm. They expect you to go down this rocky river. The water doesn't even cover the rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never did it. And what, they last a year? I remember when I saw them, um, and then I never saw them again. Like, I saw them for, <laughs> like, two months, and then right. they were gone forever. Really? Yeah, I think I think there's no way that there was, like, liability issues with that kind of shit. Well, there's got to be, I'm sure. Them. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure the insurance, I'm sure it just, was, it just sucked. Yeah. It's not, I mean. Hey, you're like a fucking hamster. Just rolling down a raging well, river. And you're not tied into when the rocks that those big holes, they were like, it was just a frame. It wasn't like a full ball, right? So there was spots where there was like gaps. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. So you could yeah. roll and have a rock just come in. And That's what I mean. Like yeah. part of your space. Yeah. Nah, not cool. No, it's not cool at all. And same with like, um, actually, it's not like cool, but it was, it was definitely a good idea. People who couldn't really access the mountain was like those like sleds they used to bring up down the gondola and you, you could sit in them and then someone oh. would ski behind you. Yeah, those uh, they use them for like just snow people. limos, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. they use the real good thing is they use them for like the sit skis for people who need them. Yeah, yeah. If you want to, but just, it was like just like the able-bodied, lazy person's version of that, right? And it's like the uh, motorized scooters at Disneyland. Yeah, if you need one, sure. But if you have one because you want one, and then end up needing one because you only use one, yeah, that's not cool. If you because if you have one because walking's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, because fuck walking. Yeah. I mean, yeah, walking sucks sometimes. Yeah, but for the most part, it's 
I mean, scootering is yeah. probably pretty fun. Um, we, wh- wh- when I grew up, I, uh, one of my close friends, his parents owned like a medical supply company. Oh yeah. Cool. And it was like kind of the first of its kind uh, in the area, you know, in the major area. Yeah. And we, we used to go in there at night at the keys. We'd go in there at night and just like rip around on the scooter. <laughs> That's like fun. <laughs> yeah. We'd always smash, we'd always break stuff. And yeah. It was, he got in way too much trouble with that job. Um, right. Yeah. Man. Uh, I used to work at Molson's in Barrie, Ontario, and there was like it was on the Molson's factory. Yeah, they had a drive-through beer store, so I worked there when I was in college. And it's like you need to get pretty good money, you get pretty pretty paid pretty well, and the hours are decent. You get like they give you like uh, beer coupons every every month with your paycheck. Yeah, I'm going to get beer. So I worked at the drive-through beer store. There's this huge like cooler area and stuff, and we always like forklifts. And the forklifts you could use where you like it's called I guess a pump jack where you like electric and you walk behind mm-hmm. it and push it and stuff. Yeah, but this one's electric, so I, I was moving uh, skids of skids yeah skids of uh, beer around like just stacked high i i put some beer on the top like stacked a bunch of skids on top and i just pulled the pumps or whatever the fucking whatever it's called what are we calling those things again the jack yeah yeah i pulled the jack or whatever <laughs> but i left it up and it had a big thing on the back and so yeah. i turned around and i was like walking like like dragging it behind me with it with uh yeah, cool in, in reverse i was like i don't know cool. i'm doing like yeah, yeah. this for 30 yeah, years yeah. right you know, like 20 no minutes deal. yeah I'm a life. So I, I kick open the double door and go walk it through. And I'm like, boom. And I'm like, it's that noise. And I'm like, boom. And I think I'm just trying, I thought I was stuck on the ground or something. So I just gunned it. And <laughs> not looking, never looked. Once. I'm not, I'm not going to look back and see what the problem is. I'm just going to go put speed to it. Try to figure that right. I'm like, just power it. <laughs> so I just go like, boom. And I won't move. And I hear, I, I get like the, I feel like something in the back of my neck hit me. So I look up and I look back and like the frame of the door, like above the door, has just all broken because I'm pulling like I, I'm you're just, ripping the whole thing in. I'm, I'm breaking the wall yeah. yeah and so a drywall hit me in the back of the neck like chunks of drywall hit me in the back of the neck so I'm like holy fuck so this is so fucking dumb I take the jack which is now bent how old were you this I was in college like 21, 22 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I was a reasonable yeah, yeah. age of person to know yeah. wow yeah but I was also line. yeah I was like yeah. unique guys like, unique guys don't they just do whatever the fuck they make a yeah. mess they have to take and clean it up yeah and so uh, that's probably why the coming business. Anyway, so I smash the wall. It's literally I'm breaking the whole frame. So I take the pump jack, I put it down, bring it in the room, put it back up, and just go like boom, the opposite way into the wall. And I push the wall back into place and I bend the jack back into place after like three hits, put it down, put the jack away. You just you just hammered out the, the, the <laughs> no dent. one yeah no one <laughs> no one said a thing no one saw it. it's all on camera like it's all security they probably some guys in the back like, look at this idiot fucking what's going on yeah somebody watched that on camera he's like oh well good for you man it's all back can't tell I swept up the drywall yeah that's that's fair play yeah yeah, yeah. sure I think it's yeah good. yeah but I this people if I did that and there's people who I, I think I'm really pretty responsible yeah people must do dumb shit all the time oh. people always do dumb right. shit. Yeah, most of the time, most of the time it's alone, so you don't, you know, you don't get to like enjoy it, right? I mean, thank God for um, you know YouTube now because it's like everything's recorded. You get to see people doing stupid shit all the time. Yeah. You no, know I used to drive, which I used to like to do is um, lived in Vancouver for just like a few months back in two thousand one. I was in, I had a place with a friend of mine in uh, downtown Vancouver. We used to just we didn't have cables. We used to watch the front hall lobby, the front right. lobby camera. We would just be like, look at this guy. What do you think he's doing? <laughs> Oh, she knows wife for like, so like, oh, he's probably bringing drugs in. Yeah. We see somebody come and go super fast. So we'd see the same guy. Yeah. We know, we kind of knew who the drug dealer was because this guy came through. Was like, oh. Okay, yeah. We were, I didn't, neither of us worked. We just sat there. And and like, watch this. Get, like real life theater. We just going get baked on. and we just there yeah. and watch. It was, it was weird. Do you, <laughs> you ever pretend like, like do the voice of the guy? Like pretend you know like what's going on in this guy's brain? <laughs> That's one of my favorite right. ones to do. Right. Just see someone and be like, imagine what where, they're saying. Yeah, what their thought process is right now. Right. Like I'm gonna fucking open this door like nobody's opened this door before. <laughs> yeah. If I if it's so if, yeah. if I press this button and no one goes hello, I'm gonna freak out. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I like my, I like people that are in a hurry. Those are my favorite people. In a hurry. Yeah, just people that are genuinely like generally like rushing. Oh, right. You can tell the pace. Probably for no reason. They just look busy. It's yeah. Like Costanzaism, you know, where he just looks busy and looks like he's stressed. Yeah, and it's just like they they just adopted that as their 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 pace for life. Right? Like, if you spend any time yeah. in a city, your pace is, is higher. It is higher. Oh, yeah. For sure. I, like, when I go to Toronto for work, if I walk down the sidewalk, yeah. I'm like, you guys are all running to yeah. the end of the street just to wait, yeah. to run across the street, and then to wait again. Well, the thing with, like, you know, being in a city, and I spent a little bit of time in a city, was, like, 
you're always like every second counts. So like maybe you'll get on that that train. Maybe you'll catch that bus. Maybe you'll make that street yeah, bike. Yeah, right. You'll, like every every little second. So you're like cutting corners. You're jumping in front of cars. You're like if you're doing it every day, you're like really you're trying to shave you're the fat it. off yeah. of your like. You want community. to impress yourself that you've yeah. done this thing at a great pace. Yeah. And when you get to the office, go guys, I made it today in like seven minutes. It should take me minutes. an hour. Yeah. Right. And you get there, and everyone's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. There's whatever. like those little daily wins that are nice, like walking down a set of stairs and onto a subway as the door closes. Oh, dude. That's Those, a, the smooth the smooth lift lifestyle. Oh, yeah. So, like, the front door of my building, I know that if I walk by with my key fob, I go beep and I hit the uh, wheelchair button. Yeah. The door opens, I can just sneak in without even stopping walking. I know the perfect yeah. pace. Or if you hit the gauntlet in Squamish, all the green lights. Oh, yeah, that's I, a nice one. That's a hard one to do. Yeah, yeah. I've done that, I've done that twice in my life that I remember yeah. doing. Yeah. And that didn't been the near like 15 years. Yeah, sometimes things line up, you know. Um, I like to do this thing, and I'm, I've been doing this since I was, like, really young. Yeah. I like to try and time. My dad did it, too. Yeah, I like to tr- – when I'm coming home, yeah, I like to see how far away I can let off the gas and just coast into my parking spot without using the brakes. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So I've been doing that for a long time, and I live up a hill, so it's a little challenging. So I kind of come up a hill, and then my driveway is kind of up on a platform. Right. And so the timing is, like – Really you tough. Give it a gun, a bit of a gun. Yeah. Let it roll over and crest. And, and then it, it kind of comes up the end, and then there's a brick wall that I have to stop in front of it. So obviously. <laughs> you guys have to break. <laughs> you can hit the brakes if you want to. Oh, damn it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to need some serious front end work on my car. Right. <laughs> no. yeah. And the wall's fucked. Anyone know the brief of the wall? But when I nail that one, it's like. Oh, it's like a high five. To yourself. Yeah, like I can just, I can go out, uh, up to my house and. You know, uh, that day's a win. You can eat a whole pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Easily eat a whole. <laughs> yeah. Just, call it yeah. call it flour crust pizza. Yeah, I do the same thing. Whenever I run the gauntlet and squamish, I'm like, cool, going to Mags. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just like to celebrate. But yeah. then there's one more light you gotta get. If you get if you get the light at the There's a daycare outside. You can hear these kids screaming and yelling. Children are animals. The kid's excited. <laughs> it's over the it's in the hallway. The sounds like the oh, it's my neighbors. You know what my neighbors do? This is crazy. Yeah. They're not, they're not gonna hear this. No. They, they have like they have two kids. kids they have? Oh, like, just two? Yeah, just two. Yeah. But they, you know how, I, don't, I never had a kid, but nowadays there's like these like blue bags and this like this thing where you just shove your dirty diapers into it and it like kind of contains them and you, and you pull the top off. Of course, I know all about that. And you can pull them out of the thing. <laughs> you don't smell anything else, right? It's like, it's like, oh, like, yeah. It's like a little disposal yeah, unit. Like, yeah. a, like a big long sock. Anyway, yeah. I, I call it the Purito because they fucking leave it in the hallway. They'll open the door and look, put it in the hallway. They leave their diaper their, disposal in the Like hallway? maybe 20 diapers mashed into a bag in the hallway. I used to have photos of it. I'd be like, Levitt, my room like that, poo readers on the hallway, heads up. And then I'm like, you, you can't smell it, but I know there's poo shit in that bag. Yeah, no, it's a it's a giant container of baby turds. Yeah, it's bad enough it's like happening. <laughs> but, yeah. no, but I mean, I, and their, kid, their kids are great. Their kids are pretty, their kids super cute. Like, it's Wait. Like, but I think it's weird. should the kids be out of diapers by now, or this still well. The one is, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think the other one's still pretty young. But when they only had the one kid, it was just a pre Rito city out there. I thought I thought you weren't allowed to leave anything in the hallway. You're not supposed to. It just depends like, if anybody bitches and moans about it. Oh, so you got to be the guy that's like, "There's dirty diapers in the hallway." Yeah, <laughs> on the on the on the Facebook page. Hey, let me do it in the hallway. They're like, yeah. clearly the neighbor. You should write a should write a letter to the editor at uh, the Peak getting the. In there. People love. I mean, I I don't understand how hectic it is having a kid, but I think I know it's pretty fucking hectic. Like I guess it's yeah. like having a kid is like a hard thing to do. No, it's not that hard. I did it. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> but, right, your kid's pretty old too. Yeah, it was not. I mean, I'm sure it's harder with more than one. Right. I've heard it. I've heard it really ramps up, but it, <laughs> it doubles. Yeah. I think it doubles. No, I heard uh, apparently it's yeah. more. It's like exponential. It's right. Like, one more kid isn't just like twice as hard. It's, it's one like three times as hard. Right. You know, at least that's what they tell you because you know their parents are always looking for sympathy. But, right. um, I have, a, I have a, I'm concerned about um, what's going on here. <laughs> this is not recording the way it should be. Look at how slow it's going. I don't know anything about this stuff. And when I talk, we're going to stop for one second here. Okay.
we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, pardon the dead air there, but um, no, I don't think you're allowed to leave stuff in the hallway. That's what we're getting at. Yeah. See, it's way different now. Look at how the thing's moving. It used to be like long, drawn out. Did, yeah. Did you see that before? Yeah. It wasn't the same. I, and um, my point about, uh, you know, uh, raising kids being hard, and I, I just don't think it is. Um, I mean, everybody does it. Right. Right. Like, I don't have an opinion. I, I just think. It's not really that hard. Like you just, just you gotta be dedicated and be good at it. What, what's, at what's, what's worse, like waking up every day with nothing? That's what I do. Talk about. Yeah, but no, but <laughs> just, <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm single. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I, no, it's I, just not that hard. I mean, right? Like, you know, one day you wake up and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm a parent now. Right. It's like, okay, you just do different things. It's not like it's not like you actually things are difficult. You're just, just like, you start to make sure this kid stays alive and you feed him, teach them well, whatever it is. Right. And that's just, yeah, man. it's just like the same how, thing as every day. You just wake up and try not to be an asshole all the time. And you just have more things to, to, right. to yeah. care for. But okay. it's not really, it's not hard. I mean, look at the people with most. You know, it's funny, Tyler. It's like, everyone's like, everyone goes, it's so fucking hard. I, I always hear it's super hard. And I don't know any better. I was, better, I was so. 21. I didn't even think it was hard. You probably didn't. Yeah, and your kid's a good kid, right? Turned out fine. Yeah, yeah, he's like a he's like a human being. Yeah, you know? literally, he's literally a human being. Yeah, like, but like you know, like a real one, right? You know, that like makes eye contact, he talks to people, and he just like sucks his head off. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, he like looks up and shakes hands. He must be like, was he like sixteen then? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's an interesting thing you're saying because usually when I hear about having kids, it's like, like oh my god, I have kids I can't take. Like, it's yeah. I would guess like if a kid can't sleep or if you don't have a kid that like actually can eat or doesn't want to eat or just becomes fussy, that could be difficult. Yeah. Or if you just don't like your general situation in general, like well, then, yeah. then the kids are going to amplify the, kid the, no kid, the yeah. shitty situation. But, right. But you know, you're just going to put your poo in the hallway but anyway. You can't raise the kids. Like that. They're just, they're just annoying, but like everything's annoying. <laughs> right. I, a lot of things are annoying for sure. <laughs> I, I think mean, like annoyed and employed is kind of like how I live my life a little bit. Just like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you do a job, then you're annoyed probably most of the day. Like any job. <laughs> you're like, I'm doing this. You're like, fine, I guess. And yeah. You, I, I mean, I talk about jobs a lot, but I think even if you love your job, you still, you still need to do it. Yeah. Like, as soon as I need to do something or have to, you just let me go. No, no, definitely not. I think it's this guy. Uh, could be. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Um, yeah. Maybe it's just that burrito in the hallway. Oh, maybe they put a fresh one in there. So we caught like the, the, the four live. second window. In yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. It's like organic poop. I think they feed their kids pretty good. You think so? Yeah. Oh, they're highly healthy people. Yeah, they're actually moving to the island. They don't use cloth diapers. No, they use disposable yeah. environment killing diapers. I remember we, 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 we thought about doing that. We're like, yeah, we'll use that. And then we did it for like four days or like. You're like washing yeah. runny poop out of. Yeah, man. Like kids' poop isn't solid. It's like, it's not eating steak and potatoes. No, that's another level of, uh, yeah, just, just uh, you know, a little bit of despair there, just scraping poop off. Even like wiping a kid's ass is like well because you can't put the you can't put you get it you gotta get the poop out you can't put it in the washing machine with all that poop in it. No, no, no. Yeah, there's there's a uh, you, it's like you can't just stuff a plate full of turkey leftovers in the dishwasher. Like you gotta get no, you gotta scrape. The you gotta get most stuffing of off. off. Right. Well, poo <laughs> diapers the same. You gotta yeah. get rid of the stuffing for the most part before you put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> you know what? I know it's an environmental. I know it's safe environment, but man, I can't imagine having to like like deal with that mm -hmm. on a regular basis. No, I mean, it's in a parent's best interest to body train your child as soon and quickly as possible. Right. But the thing is that parents get lazy, right? They're like, they're well, they're not the time. time. You got to like, if you got, yeah. you're on the run, your kid's yeah. got to be, you got to run with your kid around. You can't, you got to put a diaper yeah. on so he just doesn't poop in the car seat. Yeah. I think you do what you do with like a dog when it poos. You just, you rub their face. <laughs> <on> it. <laughs> you can do that. That's how we assault. People go to people in jail for less, I'm sure. Which it'd be funny. Yeah. I mean, it's like I mean, it's, it's, it's super harsh, but I I bet it would work. I don't I don't know how old. I mean, the kid's like fifteen, yeah, probably if he's still shitting his pants. But if he's like <laughs> if the kid's like one, he's gonna be like, why? If, what? if your kid's fifteen and he's shitting his pants, you got bigger problems. You should rub his nose. Yeah, you should take him to a, you should take him to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. No, I mean, every you know, you know, I mean, you, you see families like where like one kid's like. Fucking lightning quick learns everything fast, and, and the next one, you know, nothing wrong with him. He just, does, yeah, um, just like doesn't talk until he's four, right? And kids that don't talk, like little ones, they suck. 
right? Because they get to the point where they should be able to communicate, but uh, they're still just like right. making noises. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the funny thing. So my buddy Mike has a kid. His kid's like three and a half years old. This kid's a big, kid's a huge kid, like a beast, yeah, yeah. right? So he goes to the park, and people, the kids are like five or six, talk to him, and he's like, "I know what you're saying." I'm like, I'm not, oh. <laughs> "They're like, they're like, they think this kid's dumb." He's like, "No, yeah. he's like huge." Yeah, he's, he's like. Yeah, he's like thirty percent bigger than he's supposed to be, or something like that, for his age. Thirty percent. Yeah, so yeah. There is like a. I think that's like an Arizona iced tea. tea. Um, yeah, like upgrade. Oh yeah, 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 yeah of course, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. So, but Mike's like, can't. Yeah. Like, my kids. Other people think my kids not smart because they're like, he's the same size as us. Yeah. Why can't he communicate with us? Right. He's like, no, I'm just three years old. I'm as, I'm as big as a five year old. <laughs> so these kids are really fucked if they make fun of him when he's older. Like, remember yeah. that time you said I couldn't talk properly? Yeah. So he'd be like pushing their face in their own shit. <laughs> Right now, he's just smiling and nodding. I'm just taking Ooh. notes. I'm going to fucking Jimmy, I'm a fucking redhead guy. If I stay in this town long enough, this kid's can't talk. But he's, he's making a list already. Yeah, this kid's five. Yeah. He's making a. Yeah, he can't talk. He's like, fully like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just making a list. I think he uses a feather to write with an ink and feather. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I mean, that's a better skill to have than, uh, than conversation, I think. Just being able to write? Yeah. Oh, man. If you ever, like, when you try to put your thoughts down, like, um, like when I think about, I thought about doing stand-up comedy stuff. And I think about like trying to write jokes or write stuff to talk about and go out there with like a plan. Yeah. I don't have the ability to like mm-hmm. plan ahead. I just very spontaneous. So yeah. I, if I write notes, they're nothing what I thought in my head as I was writing. I'm like, that's, that doesn't, well, not what I, I'm not inspired by that at all. It's just shit that I wrote down. Some shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, you probably like me, you have books of stuff that you like wrote, whatever, like ideas or like stupid yeah. things. Um, 90% of the time, the stuff that I write down, I go back to, and I have no idea what I was talking about. I don't give enough detail. I'm like, I got this. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, like, yeah. be like, trees and crickets. Yeah. And, and then, like, what the fuck I'll is think, that? As I'm writing it, I'm like, I'll know this what is I mean. Killer. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a great bit when I don't tell anybody. I'm going to read this in two weeks and be like, oh, good one, yeah, yeah. me. Or I'm like, this is a great idea. And then I never go look at it again. <laughs> I'm like, I have so many notes. Are like probably, if, if they're on my phone, but if they were real, they'd be collecting dust. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, this is a great idea. I'm like, I'm just so funny. I write down and I'm like, two later, oh, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I just go through my oh, remember that? I'd make it like a, like a grocery list. I go buy another all the notes there. Yeah. The only ones that I, I appreciate, like, after the fact, are the ones that I've fully written. Like, I've written the entire idea. Oh, yeah. Out. Right. What I thought was funny about it. You know? Yeah. Because I'm not going to get it. It's tough, man. Like, I've written some jokes. Um, I just joked I wrote about, about gay cannibals. Yeah. And I was thinking about like, you know, like what are they, what's, you know, so we think about things we like, we, we like put cows in boxes so we can eat their liver, right? So like this doesn't, so it keeps the, or lambs are to keep the meat like tender and stuff. Right? Is that what they do? Yeah, they put them in fucking boxes. I don't know if it's lambs or cows or whatever, but they put them in boxes. They don't grow. Nobody puts lamb in a box. I think many people do. <laughs> I think many people put many lambs in the box. Many lambs in different boxes. Okay. But, um. But my question is, okay, cannibals, I'm like, I, I just, I'm just curious if they, what, if they, what they, what they think is a delicacy, like what they say for last. I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to totally save this guy's dick for last, right? I'm going to save no. the vagina for last. Just eat it. Just eat, eat the penis. Just eat everything. There's, like, we don't, there's no order to it. Like, yeah. Everyone's like, well, I'm going to save the, like, when you kill a chicken, like, oh, the breast is good and the, and the chicken wings. They're just like, yeah. you, you, and you're like, soft, like, or, like chicken livers are something people like eat. Yeah. Or like, like, what's a delicacy? I don't know. Like, things from different animals, delicacies, right? Yeah. So I'm just wondering what, joke actually, what the delicacy of yeah. the human. Having to explain a joke. This long means the joke yeah. isn't funny. No matter how much <laughs> well, you I didn't just, actually tell a joke, you were you were explaining a no, premise. No, but the yeah, the yeah. premise isn't that funny. So anyway, yeah. but I write it down. I go back. I'm like, I get that to the word big premise for. Yeah. Some stuff. I'm like, why? Well, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I've been uh, well. I wrote down something uh, uh, today. This is uh, this is the self indulgent part where I talk about being sober. Cool. But I'm not. You know, it doesn't matter. But I was thinking, you know, when you wake up sober. Yeah. Right. You think to yourself, like, I could do anything today, right? Yeah. You know, you wake up, you feel good, you have energy, like, I could do anything today. Uh, and the difference to waking up drunk, when you wake up drunk, you're like, fuck, I did everything last night. <laughs> right. You didn't even know what it was, <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Right? And I'm, like, not sure which one is better. Yeah. Right? Oh, being impressed with yourself that you got through to the next morning from how much you did? Yeah, or just, like... You know, the fact that, you know, when you go out and have some drinks, sometimes anything can happen and you can have like a really, really, really spontaneously good time. Right. And there's value in that. There is. Right. For sure. Um, and I'm not sure if it has more value um, than, than waking up feeling sober, energized and like, 
like unlimited, you know, <laughs> right. potential for the day. Yeah, yeah. I think long term, the sober and the other one is better. Yeah. But if you can retain the stories you have from the big nights. Oh, yeah. Those are locked down. Yeah. So when you're, I, so yeah. you're just remember those. So I think it's, if you enjoy that waking up happy with what happened last night too much, then yeah. your life starts to like crumble a bit. Yeah. yeah. But be, like, you've been sober for how long now? 16, 13 days? Yeah. Like this is like, I've done it a few times. Right. Like, right. like, like sober uh, October type thing. Yeah. Like I just pick a time and start. What do you, what's the motivation for it when you start it? You're just, just like, man, I got fucked up last night? Or, been, or is it like, dude, man? It's like, like um, you just, you just want to see how you'll feel. Yeah. And if anything, you can make any changes, like positive changes. Right. And that's all it is. And like maybe just slightly redefining your relationship with alcohol in general, where it's not always like um, you're, you're just, you're just doing it because you do it. Right. You're doing it. Like I want to, I want to drink when. You know, I feel like it, it, the, the mood takes me. Yeah. See, yeah. I used to do the same thing too. So I would never keep beer in my house for long. Like, never, yeah, I, I never drank beer. Like, never I, I never liked to pull out a beer. I smoked, I smoked weed a lot. And um, I think that just stopped me from drinking. So it was no yeah. different. I'm just still doing something. I'm still doing the yeah. entire, it's all through my mind or whatever. But I've, I've quit weed for a long time, a couple of years, you know, yeah. uh, not recently, but um, but I have. And um, at one point, like, well, I just got to keep, like, like, oh, I just got to keep this train going. It's not, at some point for me, it wasn't about yeah. staying high, staying sober anymore. It was like, I'm sober now. It's cool. But I just want to see how long I can go. Yeah. Without giving in. Yeah. When I knew I could just go, yeah, cool. And I, I wouldn't be mad. I've never gone sober and given myself a deadline. I'm like, I got to do this for this long. I just yeah. think, oh, my, tomorrow I'm not going to get high. And I just don't do it for a long time. Yeah. I'm never like October. Because I feel like if I did it for that, you just, November 1st, people always just black out bender. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough to, uh, you always feel like when you finish a sober period that you want to like, yeah, which seems you ridiculous. Could talk, then you wake up in the morning and go, man, I did everything last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did anything for a month yeah. last night, I did it all again. Yeah. I mean, hopefully you don't have uh, an addiction problem, um, which, cause that's a totally different, I'm not talking about that. Oh no, yeah, for sure. I'm talking more about just like having a healthy relationship with booze in general yeah. where you can like, you know, occasionally abuse it. Um, but it, you don't, you're not doing it like, multiple days in a row and, and like yeah. on benders and doing stuff where like, you know, you, you start to just like ignore all the other things you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. I find that the hair of the dog thing is a very dangerous slope. Oh yeah. Drinking in the morning. I think because people like, I gotta have this. It's like, it's like cocaine. It's like a other drug. Yeah. You wake up and wake and bake, all these kind of things. Like I yeah. wake, wake and bake fine. It ruins your day. You just you burned out. It ruins your day. But yeah. I feel like, um, if you, unless, yeah. unless you like, I'm going to get stoned and clean my house. Sure. I'm going to go skiing or something like that. You just yeah, get yeah. a hangout. Yeah. Right? So, but I feel like that whole, um, uh, like the hair of the dog thing. Yeah. I'm like, you know, I've had friends like, Oh, I had such a big night. And I got a party. And I got to pick up a little bit and do some more of the party. And yeah. everyone goes, and I'm like, that's a fucking slope, man. That's a slippery slope. Cause, it, Cause then it becomes noon and it becomes one o'clock and I go three o'clock. I'll just start again. Yeah. And I feel like the hair of the dog is one thing. Cause everyone talks about it. And usually everybody has a Caesar, yeah, which, I can drink a lot of Caesars, but they're not for the folks out there that don't know what a Caesar oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it's like clam, it's clamato. Yeah. Clam, clam and tomato juice. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not the biggest Caesar guy. Neither am I. Uh, I'll yeah. have one, but I'm not like these, like, you know, people that will like sit down and drink four Caesars. <laughs> you're, you're, like, have, you ever, have you ever drank something that's usually puked? No. It looks like, it's like hot, cold fire, like lava. And yeah, it's like, man. It's like, there's too much spice to just be consuming. It's pretty good for minerals. I would drink one or two for sure. But have you yeah. ever had, what? I, I've had tequila teasers before. Yeah, I don't actually mind. Tequila is one of my more preferred, like, It's uh, a pretty good alcohol. Days. I yeah. think it's pretty yeah. good for you. I think it's like, I have a, uh, an old friend of mine who's been around town for a long time, an old ski guy, and he's like, I don't drink tequila. I don't, I don't even, I just do shots of it when I party. Which guy is this? I don't know uh, if their name is name, but I have a friend that does the same thing. So I thought he's an older guy. He's oh, a okay. ski guy. He's an Olympian or was an Olympian. Yeah. He's quite old. Yeah. Yeah. I had a friend that was, that was told he was allergic to everything except tequila. No, like, like legitimately, <laughs> like he's allergic to all alcohols. Was it Cuervo tell him that? No, there's <laughs> <laughs> sweet name drop. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it is Cuervo. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, I do uh, prefer tequila in general. Mm. Um, I know it has this weird like moniker for being like the shot d type drink, and yeah. people have violent memories of tequila. You know, when you're a kid and just like barfing on tequila, which is like a nightmare. Oh man! But now that I I know how to drink without right. dying, um, tequila is better. I like tequila and the odd scotch. 
But I don't drink any of them white liquors anymore. And I don't drink. Oh, uh, see, I moved. I, I like my first time I ever got drunk. I was on, I was, I was on the vodka. Mm. It was bad. Like I, yeah. So my buddy and I, out to, and I, I, ate, I think I ate a can of beans for dinner. He came over. We drank a bunch of screwdrivers. I barfed up beans and orange juice for like two hours. Beans and orange juice. It was fucking horrible. <laughs> like it, I, I, it was disgusting. I'm like, I didn't. I, I was like, just turned sixteen probably. Jeez. And I've been smoking weed since like twelve, so I didn't really drink a lot. Yeah. But then vodka's been okay for me. Yeah, tequila, I don't mind. Uh, Jaeger's fucking disgusting. Mm. I don't like. If someone gets me a shot at Jack Daniels, that I'd rather drink tequila. I don't use. I don't use the lime and the salt oh, yeah, stuff. I am not a fan. I don't like a whole I, thing where it's like when you're 19, let's get everybody so drunk they can't even live, live, you know? Well, well I don't like, need help getting drunk. Like I, <laughs> right. Like I yeah. get there on my own. Like, yeah. like fine. And usually faster than I should. Right. So why do I need to speed up this process? I don't think, I think it's like, let's, let's fuck our friend over and get him so drunk. And I get, they're all gone home. But like, there's times where I've been at Merlin's on my birthday and just like throwing up on the street waiting for a cab. I'm like, I don't yeah. like this. It's seven o'clock at night. Or here's a classic when you roll into a restaurant with like a few buddies, right? You're yeah. like, you, maybe you're going to have a night that night. Everybody yeah. knows it, right? Yeah. It's that weird, awkward, like, uh, anticipation, tension. Right, going yeah. On. And you sit down and you're like, <laughs> let's get something to eat, but we'll get some drinks. And and before you eat anything, number one, fucking Cardinal Sin. Yeah. You had three like, drinks. Yeah, you, you, you have like two shots of Jack and oh, a couple man. of beers. <clears throat> and right now you're working from a deficit. Right, the whole down. night is a is yeah. like you're crawling back. Yeah, um, and it just never works out. You end up, you know, either blacking out or having a bad oh, night. Man, I, yeah, that's a weird thing. I don't. I'm learning that, like, as I've gotten older, I've realized I like in the last three years, I realized I can't drink as much as I used to. No matter whether I'm, you know, I'm if, when I was like a little bit overweight or losing much weight or whatever it is, I don't think it really mattered. Just realized I, I can't drink as much as I used to. No, um, even if I keep, even if I practiced, like I didn't yeah. actually stop. You know, I was. I never really stopped drinking for a long time. Yeah. I never, I never, did, I never done like a sober October at all on purpose. I just like stopped drinking. Yeah, but yeah. As I get older, I I realize I can't drink as much, and I think that's pretty standard. Well, I think not being able to drink a lot is a good sign. Um, yeah, if you can drink a lot <laughs> and you're old, you're like, dude, you've been drinking a lot for a long time. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, like you, having having a really low tolerance to booze is good as long yeah. as you know you don't get blackout waste after five drinks and start being the asshole at the party at seven yeah. o'clock at night you just have to be way more prepared um and you have to like take precautions yeah like number one eating yeah number two water catching yourself yeah like just like pounding drink after drink you know when you get into a roll and you're like <laughs> <laughs> yeah you like you settle into a groove and you're just, going. yeah and it just becomes like this like like every ten seconds, I'm I'm putting my my glass to my yeah. mouth. Yeah, I think right. nerves do that too. Yeah, I don't have it on the camera right now. Yeah, um, yeah. I like oh, watching you open that right now, and like makes me want a beer. But I have a lot of like I have a lot of willpower. Yeah, like, I don't get too. Uh, you do. Yeah, yeah. I don't get too uh, too excited. But sorry, no, no. Fire away. I don't even want a beer. I'm just having one to see if you I can make you have one. <laughs> so Stevie, like, I, got this, I, got a, I had a kombucha. Um, oh, kombucha! We talked about it earlier. Yeah. You so you you mixed it with alcohol before, correct? Uh, yeah, because uh, working at the handle bar a little bit, um, they have kombucha on tap. Oh, what do they, you mix it with? Uh, usually gin. No, oh, yeah, that's the worst tequila, way to mix it. I, actually, when I started with gin, but then I tried a few with tequila, and then I realized that um, uh, kombucha is uh, will fucking mess your guts up. If, yeah, if you drink it like that, you want to put it down. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, it, it does fuck you up. Uh, so I think it's weird that um, I think it's super weird. It's, it sound different. You sound like a pro right now, right? It sounds like you're really doing it. Yeah. Uh, I think kombucha is funny because like, uh, isn't like a probiotic supposed to make your stomach like supposed to like help you digest things and give you more like the enzymes you need to break down food and stuff? Sure. Yeah. So you mix it with gin. Yeah. And you fucking black out immediately. Well, I yeah. do. Yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't get it, man. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, I black out. I, dude, dude, the last time, the only, the only time I drank it was, was with, um, I worked for this like uh, super stretchy bendy company and like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Oh, it's just gin and kombucha. Like, I thought I'm like my first, Oh, health drink and gin. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I'm fine. Uh, no, not even close to fine. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, there are probably other factors involved in that evening. I don't know. I, I think that was just straight. <laughs> Did you eat dinner? <laughs> No, <laughs> I think I had I think I had appies that were past it. Drugs as well. No, no. Okay, well, no, yeah. I don't yeah. do that. Yeah. I mean, it, there's a good chance that you know there's some chemistry going on with the the combination. Of... <laughs> How's that beer? It tastes like the cardboard it was in. 
I usually, um, one thing I can say, so working at the beer store I talked about earlier, yeah. is uh, clean up the tops of your cans when you take a drink before you open them. Like, wipe them down. Yeah, I've known you for a few years now. You've never mentioned that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I always do it. It's like, it's like, I literally always do it. Because yeah. people walk on those kids to get another beer in the, in the building. So you walk on the top of the cans in like your dirty fucking boots in the warehouse. Yeah, the boots don't concern me as much. Uh, it's just like, they're like, like men, right? The boots. Like just work boots on top right. of my beers. I kind of feel like that maybe makes the beer better. A little bit. A bit of grime? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit of grime's pretty good, I guess. Sometimes like the only thing I'll ever do with a beer can is I'll, I'll take a quick glance and if there's any visible dirt. Oh, like in the cracks and stuff? I'll give it like the old Nintendo glow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put it like a you put a book on top and hold the yeah. lid down, and it's like working. Yeah, there's very few things that you can fix by blowing on. Well, Nintendo is always that way. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Wait, what's something else you could? Uh... Oh, I used to fix my TV with a. I, so when I was a kid, my 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 parents or I don't know my grandma, my grandma moved in with us when I was a kid. And I think it was her TV. She brought this big. It was like a big old school like thirty inch TV, and it weighed like three hundred pounds. And it was a yeah. piece of shit. But I had this old Hulk Hogan. I know who was it. Uh, Macho Man, or no, uh, Million Dollar Man. I had a big rubber. I had the big WWF plastic ring. Yeah, with the, with the stick rope, like all bendy rope stuff. I had a big rubber <laughs> Million Dollar Man. I would just walk up the TV, the sound would go, and I'd be like, "Wow!" Well, off the side of it, like, "Bong!" And the sound would come back on. I put the, and then that guy just sat. The Million Dollar Man just sat on top of the TV. When the TV stopped working, yeah. my dad woke up and be like, "Bong!" <laughs> like it was like the family tool for fixing the fucking TV. That's but, pretty good. Yeah. That's not blowing, but I I do appreciate like it's you know such a uh, simple thing. Yeah, you're just like hitting. I had a car that that's how it would start. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, Seventy nine Toyota Tercel. Yeah, and it, the starter was fucked. So I had this <laughs> giant. I was giant wrench just on the passenger seat all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like I'd get out from school like you know grade ten or whatever, and I'd go out to my car. I wouldn't even try and start it. I'd just open the hood and fucking <laughs> yeah. This is I mean you know it's gonna need it right. Yeah, yeah, you, it's you so do. Funny. I mean, it like, just became this thing, and like you know, I actually you know you know it, it helped uh, helped me integrate into a new high school. It was like I was the kid <laughs> with the ye- bright yellow Toyota Tercel. Right. And I was I was always bashing the shit out of something in my head. Cool. <laughs> you should cool block start. What, was that your first car? Yeah, first car. Was Toyota Tercel? Yeah, seventy nine. It was uh, it was bright yellow, with two door hatchback, um, and it Sick. was uh, it was named we named it I named it Lemon. My brother had it before me. Okay, so we kind of like there's a big made a big sticker on the back said Lemon. It was like total like rock star car around town. Everybody's like, ah, the lemon. Yeah, no kidding. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. That's cool. Yeah. And then eventually, like a year and a half later, uh, when they took it to that high school, some other girl got the same one, but green, and she put lime on the back. Did you nail her because of that? No. <laughs> no, man. She kind of, I kind of was That's bummed. That's weird thing to do. We she friends. Went, she wasn't into you? No, we weren't friends. And she didn't like, she didn't approach me and like proposition. I bet you she, like, she you know what's going to be funny? I'm going to get a lemon. Just to yeah. be the rent. I'm going to get a lemon. I'm going to get a lime colored to herself and put lime on the back. And she probably had this some weird thought. We thought it'd be funny. Yeah. That probably is. And nobody, funny. you know, just goes to show you, nobody's original. You know, it's, it's kind of funny stupid. though. It's a yeah, wonder it you don't know. Funny. Yeah. Like, right. I should try and track that chick down there. You know? I, I dare you to buy a silver Mitsubishi RVR. <laughs> 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 the fuck I got back. So I'd be like, okay, I've seen a bunch of them in town. But, yeah, my first car was a 87 Camaro. Oh, yeah. He said, "Come around." Uh, my mom bought it for me. Yeah. My parents got divorced, and my mom was like, "Ah, t tops." Yep, full t top for sure. Yeah, t-top. it was a piece of shit. So, uh, I had a t top. I think I paid three thousand bucks for it. And it was red, and my mechanic, my mom bought it. This mechanic that she knew, and he's like, "Don't you want a red car? You get pulled over all the time. We'll paint it black." I'm like, "Cool, paint it black." So I paid this guy to paint this. Sounds car. like it's stolen. Fucking bite of it. It was a piece of junk. So it, it had a V six in it because the V eight blue, and it right. wasn't an I rock, but it had the t tops. Yeah, it was yeah. black. Automatic six cylinder, yeah, kind of beater, yeah. So, uh, but my buddy was making this film for his, some project he had, or he, he was in a band, yeah. And he had he wanted to make a film, and he wanted me to pretend I was Night Rider in my car because it was my wasn't a fire road, Fair enough. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, there's a video of me. I don't know where it is. It's probably on, it's probably on like VHS or on a record player somewhere. But it's like it's just me doing donuts in the parking lot. Like my, my Camaro, it's a piece of junk. But it's like anyway, that car I had that car. I used to have, I used to wear cowboy boots. Yeah, like ripped jeans, and I like I had long hair since I was like twelve years old. So cowboy boots as a teenager. Yeah, I went to high school. Yeah, I'd go to, I, I didn't wear my gym day because they were hard to take on and off. 
when I had gym class, Smart. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And then so I had these like they were sugar boots. They're so cool, man. I was like, the only, I, I was I had friends with a bunch of preppy kids. Like that's my yeah, friends yeah. were. They're like, what was the cowboy boots and the Camaro? And I'm like, yeah, the Camaro. Oh yeah, man. You were like yeah. uh, Billy Madison when he goes back to school. <laughs> you know, he shows no, up. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I I, could, I was an idiot. Jean jacket. I wasn't forty. I was a, I was still the same age as everybody else. Uh, I'm just that. picturing you getting out of your uh, car and like sitting on the hood. I never had a cool jean jacket because I couldn't. I had this like dark, this light blue, but it kind of looked super lame. I didn't never wore it. But I had a buddy of mine who had the best jean jacket. I was like, I'm oh, a jean jacket. It just sounds like I, it's gonna be a good story. I just couldn't. No, I just never find a jean jacket. Like he's had a cool jean jacket, and then and everybody else wanted one. We all. Well, you know, you know Johnny Law. He's a great. He's a jean jacket guy. Yeah, he's got like he's, he's got like a whole thing of jean jackets, jean vests, jean yeah. jean shirts. Right. If you see like a guy in the mall and he's wearing a, a, a shorts and t-shirt, you'd be like that guy has awesome jean jackets. You would know. Yeah. From, from a kilometer away, he's got good jean jackets. I feel like. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sometimes you can just tell by the way somebody walks in a jean jacket yeah. that this is you know. This isn't something new. No, this is like number seven in the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's got one for week, one with one for every day of the week. Yeah, I don't know. Jean jackets are cool. I've never had a cool one I liked or found one I liked. You know what? Uh, me either. Yeah, they're tough. No, I've got a jean vest right now, and uh, yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I don't I vest to me. I don't vests are weird, man. I don't like vests. Yeah, man. It's like it's a not, jean jacket vest. Over is different. It's more about style than it is about like about the warmth and the comfort. Of course, it's style. You never do it up one. Oh, best now. No. no. And there's no sleeves. And you work every punk show you go to. Because <laughs> if you don't, it's the point of having a jean jacket. Yeah. And, you you know, it, it slides its way into more into, like, costume stuff, usually, than, like, if you're going, then, you you know, you want to spice it up a bit. Right. Yeah. You're going to be a punk rocker. Put a jean jacket on. Yeah, you're, you're not going to be gonna, a cowboy. Put a jean jacket you're on. You're not going to put a vest on on Tuesday and head out to the world. <laughs> Some people do, man. Yeah. I, know. I mean, a, a jean jacket vest with the sleeves cap and it's fuzzy here. Yeah. Is that what it is? Is that what you have? <laughs> oh, that's what you, you know. You cut all jeans off to be funny. No, it's like it's a made jean, like a jean vest. vest. Oh, it's made for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like it's legit too. It's like a Lee. Mm, yeah. That is legit, actually. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. what the, that's what the fucking rodeo guys wear. Yeah, and, and right that's uh, that's exactly why I bought it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, I wear it when I, um, you know, typically when I use my chainsaw. Um, ah, chainsaws, fuck. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah, guy. yeah. You're a cool guy. <laughs> a chainsaw on a vest? Do you wear shirts under the vest when you, the, when you have the chainsaw going? No, no legit. Yeah, yeah. And like, but boots and no socks, like big construction world boots. Yeah, and big no, fuck off boots. And no socks. Yeah. Yeah. And shorts. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cut off. Yeah, pant vests is what the shorts are, right? Are they the, they're the, the vest, vest of the pants. pants? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know how I feel about that one. I mean, um, there's are, there are clothes at the front. You know, the whole thing of the vest is that it's like the minimal amount of coverage for, for the upper body. Like well, so it's like a thong of tops? Yeah, I don't no. know. I think, I think the vest Maybe stands I'm, alone. I'm not going to try and defend, just define it. It's just the vest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're the good. Vest. I mean, some people really tie in. Like, they tie in. <laughs> it's fucking craziest conversation. <laughs> it's like an hour and six minutes. Uh, but, yeah, I think I don't like vests, though, man. Even a, So a jean jacket vest is its own category, I believe. Yeah. If you say to me, do you want to wear this like inside vest? I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. No, yeah, I don't have any of those. Might be good for like ski touring or something like that, or like other because you're wearing a vest and keeps you warm, your core warm. You want to keep your core warm, right? Yeah, 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 that's what they say, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the extremities will yeah. take care of themselves. That's from Batman. Because it doesn't work though. That's the opposite <laughs> way around, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like vests. I don't like vests. No. But uh, I, <laughs> did you ever wear a turtleneck when you were a kid? Oh, um, I don't think like recreationally, like not it's like dress up. They're kind of dress up things when you're a kid, right? Or skiing or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, one of my favorite looks ever is the, um, is the turtleneck with the blazer. Oh, it's cool. It, it is, is cool. It's fucking cool, it's man. Cool. <laughs> it's fucking lame, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, you know, that's like proper eighties, like Miami Vice-ish kind of action, right. but um, there went, like a few few guys I've seen pull it off, and right. obviously it's like semi jokey when you're doing it. Who are we talking about again? Uh, turtleneck. Oh, right. blazer. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, turtleneck blazer. Actually. It's well, it's like kind of like it's like private school thing. It's not mm-hmm. like a private school thing to me. I went to private school, but he did. Yeah, oh, how was, oh, I'm interested in that. It was sure. like a private school for poor people, though. Uh, you right. know, like right. it was like. Were you poor when you were a kid? 
you don't have to tell me your no, no, like like you know, just people class. who weren't. It wasn't a rich person. It was a public school no, style, man, like private school. Yeah, it was okay. like. And why'd you go there? It's uh, um, I had I had ish, I had uh, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, my parents kind of wanted to straighten me out a little bit. I was just like a, more just a shit disturber, nothing real right. egregious, okay. but yeah. uh, just like annoying to your parents. Yeah, and they sent me there, and that obviously that school was not any better. Like you, you, you probably aren't any better off because of that. No, no, no. The kids. I mean, maybe the maybe, maybe the, you didn't get you didn't get worse off because maybe of the it. teaching caliber was a little higher. I have no idea. Someone's cooking some garbage around here. Mm. The smell that might be the hallway no, I think diaper it's, bandits. My, <laughs> <laughs> They're sneaking I don't know. I think it just smells like it's living in an apartment building. For for you out there, you uh, listener, um, yeah. living in an apartment building, the smells, the mixture of smells, you get all of it. Up here is different because it's like you're living in it. In this, everyone's mostly white up here. We all kind of get this kind of thing. No there. ethnic stuff going on. Well, there are. There's a lot of actually Filipinos down here. Them in this area. Yeah. They're, um, uh, which is good because uh, I, I think a bunch of white people is boring, but. The, um, yeah, there's nothing boring, more boring than a bunch of white people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're, we're either, we're either assholes or we're boring. There's nothing different. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. um, anyway, so, um, but like in the, you just get different smells, right? Yeah. So like, but if I'm in the city, I'm at like, a friend's house in the city, I'm in the apartment. I'm like, man, you can get any smell, you can, any smell shows up. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can smell it all. I mean, obviously there's some that stick up more than others. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, sure. Like, oh yeah. You're making tacos, you're making curry, you're making yeah, curry. even steak, you know, yeah. whatever yeah. those things are. But I find like it, uh, elevators always smell like shit. Yeah. No matter what. Oh, no matter what. Yeah. Like I've there's been, always yeah. a dog pissing in the elevator or someone just farted and left. It's like, that's yeah. hilarious. I'm out of here. Yeah. You got, you got crop dusted. And I think too, like when people are like grilling meat inside a, a small apartment, it's just, there's no way <sighs> that like. A weird thing to do. Yeah. Do you, do you live in an apartment? Uh, apartment? Well, no, I like I live in a suite. Okay. Right. Um, and yeah, but I I try to avoid cooking things that smoke a lot in the yeah. house. You know, I just like avoid it in general. I don't. I don't. I'm not a big fan. Like I, sometimes I'll, I'll flat fry a burger or something out here because I, I just don't want to go barbecue. A barbecue is a piece of junk. But, uh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's always like smoky, and then I, it's just gross. I yeah. Know, it's, I don't and know. then like I used to cook burgers for the night. I used to flip burgers. Are you where are you from? Uh, Vancouver. Oh, okay, right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about them. But there's this place in Ontario called Weber's. Super famous, like another yeah. place. Never heard of it. <laughs> Super famous. So, uh, and I worked there. So okay. I was yeah, kind yeah. of famous for the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I used to cook burgers all day. I would go home and just smell like beef. Yeah. And, and it was good. Because, I mean, they were quality meats. I don't know if maybe back then, it's like a long time ago, they could have been, you know, like a, you know, cow farm. Yeah. Like, they weren't like quality no. cows. But the beef, it's, anyway. Yeah. I smell like beef. And it's really weird yeah. thing to smell like. Yeah. <laughs> the first house I lived in here, all the guys that, that I lived with, there's like four or five of them. They all worked at Caramba. Mm. Right. So they're all cooks there. And so our house just reeked. Yeah, like all the they're, time. They're, they're whatever you call them, cooking scrubs. Right. Uh, chef, chef uniform. Or is it, is it a chef pants? Because they're not all chefs. No, it's called chef uniform. With like, uh, the, with like, the, like the pajama pants that pull on. With the, yeah, the, man. Why is that? Why is that the fucking, why is that what they wear? I don't know, man. It's like. Are they like with Crocs? That's the, <laughs> oh, you know what though? Okay. Haters gonna hate, but I think that Crocs are super, I have a pair of Crocs and they're super comfortable. Um, well, it's nice talking to you today. And, uh, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Do you have to go to Washington then? Yeah, I have to go to Washington. Okay, yeah, you can use that Washington. <laughs> well, I was just thanking our sponsors. <laughs> you got some, uh, some sponsors all teed up here? Yeah, yeah. I looked over and I saw Winter Table Salt. So, yeah, that's a pretty good sponsor. So, I thanked Winter Table Salt as my sponsor. Oh, you got the show. old school, like, real the table cardboard salt. Cardboard box, shit. right? Yeah. Dude, I have not seen that in, like, 20 years. Yeah, the inaccurate doser. You just dump. Have, you, have you had that for 20 years? Yeah, I brought it with me. <laughs> you moved out. It was on yeah. 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 yeah, I put it on the plane. You can, I'm like, can I just salt carry on? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, cool. <laughs> yeah. That's all I had. He just made you keep it on the table. Yeah, the table. Oh, yeah, in front oh of me. yeah, yeah but I can't take it off that way. <laughs> so like, you get so you have to put the salt under the under the front seat. I'm like, all right. That's uh, yeah. The re- for real, I have not seen that. No, well, yeah. I, it's still used to buy them at stores. I'm surprised that things can still happen. I'm surprised that like you can still get a box of salt with a little tiny like the nozzle, like little. Yeah. Spout that pops yeah, out. a little little metal spout that yeah, like it still happens. You know what? There's something oddly satisfying about pulling that spout out. Well, because it's fucking hard to get. You got to stick your hand in there and like get it out. And when it comes out, I don't like goddamn. Yeah, no, no, I'm gonna nice, go put nice way feeling. too much salt on the. Yeah. You, do you pour it in your hand? Like, like I know chefs. I think. Them. Well, I think when I was a kid, no, definitely yeah. not. I was like, I got this. What's one thing you ate that was weird as a kid? I'll tell know, you one man, thing. I, I come ate. from a pretty, pretty straight up white family. Um, Me too. That's why I got like a weird shit. I ate. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I don't. I can't really think of uh, a lot of weird things. My mom 
pretty solid in the kitchen. She uh, she made decent stuff. Maybe just start. Uh, maybe you tell I'll me. Tell and you. I'll see if, see if anything comes. So up. when I, I don't know how old I was. I guess like maybe like eight, sometime around eight or nine. Right. My, my grandma moved into my house, and uh, my mom was a working mom. My dad was working. My other parents worked, and they got split up. Yeah. So my grandma kind of raised me for a long time, and probably had the good manners that I have. And I think I'm kind of somewhat a good person. Yeah, my, my parents are great. My grandma's just an amazing person, and so. Yeah. Um, but I used to, this. I don't know why I'm talking about that. She, she was a great cook. She cooked all the time. But yeah. It was like really good, like home cooking food, right? Right. The one thing I wouldn't eat, I didn't eat shit. I would only eat craft dinner. I only eat hot dogs. That's yeah. why I would every, I, like for like years. I'm like, oh, that's probably why I was a fat kid for a while. Straight hot dog diet. I was like, I would eat raw hot dogs. I would go to the, I'm like, oh, oh hot yeah, dog. I remember that shit. It's gross. But I would eat, my parents would buy me boxes of craft dinner. I would just eat it, right? But then when, even before this, I guess, I used to eat Rice Krispies all the time. I didn't like milk, so I would put apple juice in my Rice Krispies. I have a bowl of Rice Krispies and apple juice. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Have you ever tried it? No. It's fucking awesome. I would do that. I, I, I Dude, even, are you sure it's not one of those things that, like, just because it, you ate it when you were a kid? Well, think like, about, think, okay, think about this. So, the Rice Krispies have no flavor, really. They're just, like, they taste a bit like rice. Yeah. But they're a bit crispy. Yeah. And apple juice just tastes like apple juice, right? So far, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. And so... You mix those two things together. It's like crunchy apple juice, right? Okay, okay, okay. It's starting to. It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good. I used to. I didn't like applesauce, but it was too thick and too chunky, and too gross. Chunky, like when you get applesauce like homemade, they didn't cut the oh, applesauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, if you buy the jar, it's like all mashed puree. Yeah, right? yeah, right. Kind of like that, but the sugar in the apple juice and the intense type of apple. Juice, I loved apple. I fucking loved apple juice all the time. Sure, yeah. So I, when I I would put food coloring in the apple juice, like green, blue, whatever, and I'd pour my Rice Krispies in. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's bad. I've never heard that it's, one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty good. That's that's one thing I know was weird. I can tell you that um, uh, I was a sugar fiend as a kid. Like okay. Proper sugar fiend. Like, yeah. like a sneaky fucking eater kid. Like, right. go into the cat, like the pantry, yeah. and when nobody was around, and find anything that had sugar in it, and I would, I would eat that shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I felt I spent a fair amount of time at home by myself. Um, my parents both worked, and so I would just like scour the house. I, I'd eat like handfuls of just icing sugar, <laughs> just straight to the dome. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. <laughs> right? Totally, yeah, right. Totally. And it's like that that type of that style of eating, like sneaky eating, followed me. Uh, it's still with me. Like I still kind of like real like sneak food in my own yeah. house. Yeah, because I'm just used to doing that. Oh, but I would make these blender concoctions oh yeah oh, dude, they were fucked up i would put like you know i put a banana or something and then i'd find like a jar of jam and i'd just like spoonfuls of jam in there <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good and then i'd make and then i'd throw in chocolate chips yeah and i would like all this baking shit right because i was right. my mom didn't keep a lot of treats so i would find all this shit and i'd make these insane swamp mixes oh god it's like sugar overload oh dude it yeah. was the most powerful sounds yummy though but I was so proud of myself for like right. putting something together, you know. It's like I'm gonna try that. I want to try bananas and jam. I mean, you put it between bread. I, yeah. I, I've been putting peanut butter in my smoothies recently. Like buying organic peanut butter, putting it in there. Yeah, it's yeah, really I, I, yeah. I use uh, maybe either any of the butters. You know. Butters, um, yeah. Do you? Are you into like? Do you just use regular butter? Um, like, no, do you I, cook? Do you? Are you like an, everyone's like use olive oil. It's so much better for you. I use. Um, I use all of them. Like so, I. Hilarious. Yeah, whatever. This is not a this is not a podcast for puns. Let's no, just no. clear that out of the way no. right now. Yeah, it's only been an hour. We haven't done one yet, so we're not doing it ever again. In that, that one, um, you didn't do it on, you didn't do it on purpose. Mulligan, was, mulligan, yeah, you didn't do uh, it on purpose. I use uh, most. I I'll use butter. I'll use all oil. No right. problem. But I keep butter around because butter is way better in certain situations. Butter is great. Like yeah. if you're gonna cook eggs, you need butter. If you're gonna fry yeah. eggs, you need butter. Do you eat eggs? Uh, not anymore. Are you, are you a vegetarian? Uh, no, I'm you're just one of the like veterinarians. Not really. No, I just I, I'll, I'll, I eat meat maybe once a week now. Oh, okay, yeah, if that. Yeah, I find that like I'm not really I don't really, I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't eat meat that often. But I tried this keto diet like two weeks ago. I was on it. I didn't go on for too long. I don't think maybe two weeks straight. Um, and I was only eating like meat and vegetables. Yeah, uh, I eat a lot of vegetables and like eggs and that kind of stuff. But I, I mean, even bananas you couldn't eat because there was too much. They were high, too high in sugar. Yeah, uh, so. I just did it because I wanted to help my diet change. Yeah. Like I was eating, I would sit at home and eat like a full pizza. Yeah, like a full fucking large Domino's Brooklyn pizza, which I'm gonna probably get right from this because it was amazing. But it was just I would just eat a full pizza. It'd be gross, right? And I was like hurt. Yeah, it was like, so more disgusting. You don't like? Do you like? Do you like it? 
Oh, I used to. Yeah, super good. I mean, MSG, we call, my roommate and I call it hot round garbage. We just, and he ordered one last night. He's like, oh, I haven't ordered one in a while. He's like, I'm like, hey, what do you get for dinner? He's like, I already ordered it. I'm like, she had hot round garbage? He's like, yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. But I, my, my gluttony moments with that shit, like, <laughs> like ordering, like ordering a whole pizza and then getting cinnamon sticks and buffalo, like boneless buffalo wings. Oh, dude, yeah. See, I would do the whipped pizza and like the lava cakes or the, yeah. the sugary stuff and just pound like three lava cakes after yeah. you <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's brutal. Like, I can't eat, I can't eat, I can eat maybe one and a half hamburgers. Yeah. I can eat a full pizza. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. I can't put I don't back get two it. hamburgers either. No, but it's full pizza. Let's do it. I'm down right now. I'll eat it right now. It's Sometimes I'll do the clamshell too. You ever do the clamshell? You put up, what do you mean? You just take two slices of pizza. Oh yeah, yeah right. Them. Right. <laughs> I I I have done that. I, I think it's probably when I'm drunk. I'm like, oh, we're gonna eat these two pieces together. I remember once I uh, I thought uh, I was like 20, 19, 20, I just moved to Whistler. Yeah. And I thought I was those things were going with this girl. I thought things were gonna work. Like we were maybe gonna it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. And we like we got drunk and we came back to the house and we ordered pizza. There's a bunch of us though, right? Yeah. And roommates and stuff. Uh, and this, and that's she did that. She fucking clam. This is like wow, clamshell pizza, but didn't say anything. She, yeah, like didn't didn't go. Hey, you guys ever try this? She said like she likes you. She just it. straight up clamshell this shit and started. Where's she from? I think she was Aussie. Ontario. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she wasn't Aussie. That's so, an Aussie move, though. I think because they don't, they're like eating this. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's no, uh, there's no display. And I had a, like a, an instant moment of like, nope, can't do it. Yeah. It is a weird thing. It flipped the switch. Right. I was like, I think that it wasn't the fact that she was doing it. It was the fact that she did it without a like normal thing. Yeah, without bringing like it up. Like she was in the morning going, <laughs> if she, she had gone like, check this like, out. Fish, or, hey, fucked up. This is how I eat pizza. You know, and like a little story behind it or anything. Right. Anything to like. Right. But no, she just unabashedly hammered. And then uh, it was over. You're like, cool, I'll see you another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one of those is mine, you know. <laughs> you ate my like, You had two already. Yeah, you, she had two. Yeah. When you're doing the, the so pizza funny. math. It's so yeah. funny. Like I so when I, I used to like get Delicio um and I, I never once I, I never I never once thought it was delivery. There's no way no, if yeah. someone goes, Here's a pizza, I'd be like, That's fucking delicio. There's yeah. no way I'm like, that delivery? No. That commercial didn't make any sense to me. Although it's called the Giorno in the US. Yeah. And it's still not delivery. No, I mean, I say no. It no, apparently in uh, in Italy it's delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I hope so. Fuck. Uh, but even if I get one of those, I'd have to cut it in half, put the other frozen half back in the freezer because I would just eat the whole thing. So I would like, I would uh, take the frozen pizza, I'd cut it in half, put half in the freezer, cook the other half. Oh, you cook half at a time. Yeah. Sometimes I would go That's back. Smart. I would go That's back. Smart. Sometimes I would go back and cook the other half. Ten minutes later. You know what? Out of the hundreds of times I did, I never thought once to do that. I oh, would just. It's a it's a phone like it just stops you. Cause it's like yeah. I don't want to have to go like, cook this other half. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I I uh, I put a delicio in, came home drunk one night, girlfriend at the time, put it in the fucking the toaster oven. Yeah, fell asleep. Uh, uh, I ripped the battery out of my fucking regular detector, <laughs> right. the, right. the smoke detector, because yeah. it annoyed me. Yeah, and and woke up to our room filled with smoke, like not like a thick cloud yeah, of burning. smoke in the top half of the yeah. room, burning the house down, and. Uh, it had been like five, six hours. This thing had been in the oven. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I lived in, in a suite underneath a house. Yeah. And there's like a family living upstairs. Oh my God. And uh, I ran into the kitchen, grabbed this like, it was, by then it was like this big. Yeah. And I just whipped it out the window. Oh wow. That's yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Pretty fast. And uh, next day I'm like walking out to my car. <laughs> uh, uh, but he goes, Upstairs. Landlord, landlord, landlord goes. No, he's like, he's like uh, doing a little cooking in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's funny. And I was like, I had to tell him. I, I got drunk and fell asleep with the pizza in the oven. Dude, but you want to hear any story? So I, I used to work for uh, my other work company. I'd go on to trade shows and go away for a long time and just travel. And stuff. I had a roommate. This was my first ever roommate. Her name was Katie, and. Um, I wasn't a big fan, but anyway, so she lived here for a while. Um, so she's like, I got the place, had a room, I'm like, oh, I put up on Craigslist. I'm like, looking for a roommate. She's like, first person, I'm like, yeah, cool, hop in, yeah. room, whatever. She becomes a roommate, and I go away for work, right? Yeah. And uh, I come back like a week later, and everything looks fine, but it kind of smells funny in here. I'm like, it smells like, I'm like, oh, it smells like burnt popcorn in here. I wasn't sure what it smelled like. I was like, I can't be that. Like, so. 
I'm just like doing shit, and I, I open the microwave. I'm like, oh, the microwave is fucked. That's, that's weird. It's still like, kind of black. It looks like it's been cleaned. But, like, you know, like in the holes of the microwave, it's like, you done not well. You yeah. get in the holes, and I'm like, what's, like, it smells like shit. It smells like horrible in here. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, oh, well, whatever. It's, everything's fine. Everything's so It must have been just, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think about it. And then I'm out in the hall. Hey. <laughs> um, I just moved in like maybe six months before that. So I'm trying to meet people. They're like, oh, you're like, oh, I'm like, hey, I'm Ryan. They're like, oh, where are you from? I got 302. Oh, the burn unit. And I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, the burn unit. And I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? So I'm like, what do you mean? Like, oh, you had the fire department came here and it was a full scene. You, you weren't there? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, it was a, it was a whole building got evacuated. And I was like, what? So now I'm like getting furious. I'm like, Something happened, and she's, my, my roommate's just been like, well, "Hey, Ryan, how are you?" Oh, like, that like, not saying fucking oh, word. Diabolical. Yeah, but she's due to town. She moved here. She doesn't know anybody. She doesn't know that. Like, oh, yeah. well, common sense. I'm gonna know someone in the, in the building. Anyway, yeah. so I'm like, "Hey, hey, um, what happened in here?" She's like, "Burns the popcorn." I'm like, "Oh," and the fire department showed up, and there was smoke coming out the windows. The whole building got evacuated. She's like, "Yeah." Well, I thought I, I I put it in the microwave. I thought I went I went in the shower. I thought I put it in for thirty seconds, but I put it in for three minutes. I'm like, three minutes wouldn't burn the fucking building down. I'm like, did you put it in for 30, 30 minutes? She's like, no, 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 I didn't put it for thirty minutes. I'm like, she's doing that like a seven year old like, yeah. no, I need the chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, well, three hundred two is now called the burn unit because <laughs> everyone got evacuated in the fucking building. She's like, yeah, she's like totally caved. She's like, sorry. Yeah. I'm like. Look, I'm like, I, shit happens for sure. Yeah. But it took me three days to find out it happened. I'm like, don't. It was just bullshit. I thought it was weird. <laughs> Did the fire department come? Yeah, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> they, well, people were fucking choked. Like, they thought I was like, you, they were like, oh, you're the brain. They thought it was all my fault. And I'm like, God, I wasn't even here. Like, it wasn't my yeah. fault. Well, it's still your fault, though. Yeah, because I hired Denny Rumi. Yeah. I kind of kicked her out after a while. So oh, yeah. she used to, um, speaking of people who stink like burgers and stuff, I meant to bring her up earlier. <laughs> yeah. She used to work for, um, Dog sledding company down in, uh, down the highway there. Yeah, she's the one who's like managed the like the area, and her manage like the camping, yeah. like sit around like after having coffee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. hot chocolate kind of thing. She reeked like campfire. Like she wore, oh, she wore these big overalls, like yeah, these yeah. big jackets. She come in and put them in the in the closet. And I'm like, get that fuck. I would put it on the balcony. I'm like, get the fuck stuff out of here. She's trying to wash it anyway. You can't I'm, get rid of that. Stuff. I'm a little OCD on that kind of stuff, and I'm like, get this shit out of my house. Yeah, there's nothing OCD about wanting. So yeah. that smells fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to smell like health and life in here. I'm an OCD. I don't like uh, terrible smells. Yeah, I don't no, want burritos in the hallway. Yeah. I, uh, I just went on a big trip and I had to dry out some clothes that got soaked on the fire. Right. And I cannot get the smell out. Sometimes it's just fucked. Like I know like you yeah. just go near a fire for eight seconds and the wind shifts once and your clothes smell until yeah, it's done. I, that's, I can't. I don't like that smell. No, it's not. It's not pleasant. I mean, it's fine when you're camping. The minute you're not camping, though, like the minute you yeah. literally put the fire, you're like, fuck, it's my campfire. Oh yeah. yeah. Then you it's go sleep awesome. in your sleeping bag, and you're like, your sleeping bag's really campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The minute you, the campfire is out, you're like, this smells gross. Yeah, I think anyway. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else to talk about? <laughs> well, I can talk about anything forever, but yeah, probably not. Right? Yeah, we're just yeah. we're just rambling on yeah, now. I think. Yeah. 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 All right, well, let's end it. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. Unless the long, this is the longest podcast I've ever done. <laughs> 2.0. Yeah, I've I hit stop three times twice. <laughs> so I'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah. yeah, all right. Well, thanks for listening. Whoever's out there not listening or whatever. Yeah, um, man. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we'll have you on again for sure. Hopefully this thing takes off. See ya. Sweet. Thank you.